Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. We are grateful for this Thursday, March the 21st, 2024. Thank you for those who were able to tune in to virtual Bible study with us on last night via the Facebook page for Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey. I did share it on my personal page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson, and it will appear on our YouTube channel on Monday. We did part two of Answered Prayers, looking at Acts, the 11th chapter. We did a recap of the 10th chapter, as well as Isaiah 56, 1 through 8. We also did some teaching and expounding on the Word of God concerning prayer cloths and anointed oil. This is one of the areas that God used the Apostle Paul with aprons and handkerchiefs to consecrate them, to pray over them, and to pass them out because he could not reach everyone. Once again, I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I'm excited about you. I am grateful for what God is doing in your life, and thank you so very much for sharing your testimonies with us. If you would like to share how this ministry has impacted your life, please email us today at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. As I was sitting in prayer on last night, because we have prayer from 6 to 7, and then Bible study starts at 7, I was sitting there and I was praying, and I began, as the Holy Spirit was leading and guiding me to the Word of God, to an area of scripture, Jeremiah 29 and 11, where the prophet Jeremiah is instructed to write a letter to the captives, and where it says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. That became my prayer. And I said, you know, I want to talk about that on the air. When it is written, it is said that I know the thoughts that I think towards you. I know the plans many translations have. I know the plans that I have for you. I begin to pray and say, Lord, reveal your plan. He says he has it. And he will hold no good thing from us. And so I just began to sit there and pray and meditate within. And, and that became my request. And I believe that I was led by the Holy Spirit to pray that prayer. Oftentimes we ask about so many things. But do we ask God to reveal his plans to, for us? Do we ask him to reveal his thoughts that he thinks towards us for a good and expected end, not for evil? And as I sat there and I began to pray that prayer, Lord, reveal your plan. I want to know the plans of God concerning my life, concerning the ministry that he has given me, concerning the ministry that I am a part of. God, reveal your plan. I am seeking you. I am hungry to know your plans, your thoughts, so that I can align myself with your will. I trust your plans. Your plan is good. They are not meant for evil, but for good. And then I begin to go over in scripture within my mind, within myself as I was sitting there. And I was just saying, I said, Lord, you gave the plan to Abraham. You reveal plans 
to Isaac. You gave plans to Noah. You revealed your plan to Moses. You revealed your plan through the prophet. Oh God, it got so good to me just sitting there in that seat all to myself. I began to say, Lord, reveal your plan. And so that is our prayer for you. I pray that God would reveal his plans concerning you to you, concerning your household, concerning the ministry that he gave you, the business that he gave you, uh, things that are coming together. Uh, you have received a, a word of promise, of healing, of restoration, of deliverance. And I am just, I am so excited about that prayer request. He said, make your request known unto me. Seek me while it is early, and, and I will be found of thee. And so, Lord, I am asking, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, reveal your plan. It is something when you know that there is a plan concerning you. It is something that he is already saying that I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Uh, they are good and they are not evil for a good and expected end. And so uh, when I receive that, I, I accept that by faith in my heart. Now, uh, my, my intuition is, is, is just uh, it's kicking up a notch. I am intrigued. I am interested to know his plans. I want to know the details concerning me. I want to make sure that I follow his plan because with those plans come instructions. And then I thought about I thought about David. I thought about the desire that David had in his heart to build a house unto the Lord, but God had a greater plan. It was going to be done but only through his son Solomon. And so under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, David wrote out what the plans, the pattern of the temple, and he was instructed to uh, not only write the plans, but he was also instructed to prepare financially, begin to put things in order, what according to that plan that God had. And so I am excited. My spirit is just excited. I am rejoicing within as I am anticipating that God is going to reveal to me his plan concerning me. It's a wonderful thing to know that he already has something orchestrated just for you. Now, we just have to ask him. He said, ask, seek, knock. And that is what we're doing. We're asking him. And we're not letting up on our asking. We're going to keep asking. We're going to keep seeking his face. And we're going to humble ourselves. We are waiting for the response. Our request has been made known. And we have an expectation that, guess what? He is going to reveal his plans. We want to make sure that we are in alignment with his plans. We don't want to be behind schedule. You know, whenever uh, a building is being erected, uh, there is a plan, there is a schedule uh, that certain things are to be done. And we want to make sure that we are on schedule in the process for his plans. If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to share with you that we have two new publications released on Friday. The first book is entitled The Seven Works of Grace. It is a Bible study teaching. We invite you to join us in this comprehensive study of the seven works of grace. We were first introduced to this study by my father, Naaman Wilson Jr., the Apostle, 
of Charity Lighthouse of Faith Incorporated and was able to expound upon it in 2020. And so within this Bible study teaching, we cover repentance, conversion, justification, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Spirit, redemption, and perfection. The book is available via Amazon for $10 per copy plus shipping and handling. And we released another book on the exact same day. That's right, we did a double header. The second book is entitled Being Drawn to Prayer. Prayer is our way of communicating with God. It is His way of revealing His will for our lives. And so it is an existential part of our daily lives and should be done without fail. Within these pages of Being Drawn to Prayer, I share some personal experiences of being drawn to prayer through visions, through dreams. We also share some scripture texts from the Holy Inspired Word that I believe would benefit that God is God alone. And this is how he draws us to prayer. Being Drawn to Prayer is available via Amazon for $12 per copy, plus shipping and handling. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to look at our calendar and we're going to schedule a free giveaway. We're going to have these two books, our latest publications, and we want to give out a few copies. So please stay tuned with the date. We will give the date on next week. We're going to look at our calendar. We're going to schedule that time and we want to give away some free copies of our latest books, The Seven Works of Grace, or being drawn to prayer. So please stay tuned and listen out next week for that date so that you can get the opportunity of getting one of these books. All right, so today I'm sharing with you just how the Holy Spirit was dealing with me during our time of prayer. We meet at the church on Wednesdays at six o'clock p.m. and it is for corporate prayer. And as I was sitting there and just meditating and praying, and, and then I was drawn over to Jeremiah 29 and 11. Well, God is saying through the prophet Jeremiah, he's talking to the captives, he's talking to the exiles. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Not of evil. They're good thoughts. Of a good and expected end. Well, why not turn that into a prayer request? So you see how with our latest book, Being Drawn to Prayer, how you can see that scripture draws you to a place of prayer. Because I know by faith, I believe the word of God. All scripture is written by the inspiration of God. And so I believe those words that were written, his love and his compassion towards the people. Yes, they were sent into exile. And he already gave the time that they would be there. 70 years. But at the end of those 70 years, he promised that he would come to them. And so he's telling them, I have good thoughts towards you. I want to know. So now it's my prayer request. Lord, what are your thoughts towards me? What are your plans for me? I read in the word. You have a plan. And you select willing, obedient vessels to carry out your plan. You have a plan for each and every one of us. And the plan that you have for us is for the benefit of the kingdom of heaven. And in my life, as I journey through this earth, I want to be in alignment with your plans for my life. If I'm behind schedule, Lord, forgive me. And show me in the areas that I need to get to work. 
if I'm trying to move ahead of you, reveal that to me as well. Because I want to move at your pace. I want to be truly led by the Holy Spirit in every area of my life. And if I am willing to let your Holy Spirit lead and guide me, then I will be on time with your plans on earth as it is in heaven. I want to be in alignment with what's going on in heaven. So God, I'm asking, I'm praying about this thing. I got so excited as I sat there and I was saying, Lord, that's just good. That's just good all by itself. That you're drawing me to ask you to reveal your plans for me, for my life, for what it is that you have given me, for my family, reveal your plan. Reveal it. What am I supposed to do with Angel Ferguson Ministries, College of Ministry and Mentoring? What am I supposed to do with the balance of life, radio and television? What am I supposed to do with the publishing department? Releasing Bible study books and commentaries and teaching tools for the School of Ministry. Lord, what am I supposed to do with Hope and Truth Magazine? Sharing content every month to encourage and inspire. Lord, I pray that I am in the will that you have for me. And you know, when we think about that, let's, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. God's plans for our life. And the areas of ministry that he has called us to. I can tell you. It is absolutely amazing. It is astounding. When you look over what you are doing. And you're actually doing what God called you to do. Some days it don't feel like it. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. And those days and those times when I said, Lord, what am I supposed to be doing? And then he allows me to see that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I am in the areas of ministry that he gave me. And I am so grateful. In, in awe. And in humility, when I think about what it is that he has placed within me to do and how he opens up the door and how he provides, I am grateful. I am so grateful for technology now because when you talk about being on radio and being on the air, growing up, only thing I knew of was the local stations in your demographic area. And you know, if you went over into one county, your radio station kind of messed up, you know what I mean? Because you're, you're out of the, 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 the area to pick up stations. But when we were brought into radio, we were brought in via internet radio, which allows us to be international. And then I was also looking at the price tag of such a thing. And so I am truly grateful and humble by what God has done and how he has advanced us to such a time as this. And so I say to you that there is no respect of persons. What God opened up for them, he opened up for me and he will open up for you. Our job is to say, Lord, what's your plan? Reveal your plan. Because I don't want to be out of your will. I want to stay in your will. I want to do your will. So what's your plan for this? Because guess what? Your plan is bigger than me. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. And your ways are not my ways. For your ways are as high 
as the heavens are above the earth. And so with the revelation of his plans, listen, it is going to be huge. It is, it is going to be magnificent. I already know it. The plans that God has for you, for your life, they are tremendous. We can't even begin to think or imagine the things of God, the greatness of God. So I want you to get ready. I just want you to get ready for the ministries that we are connected with. We are praying for you. If you are part of this uh, ministry, uh, you are a part because you tune in Tuesday through Thursday, 1230 to 1 o'clock p.m. You are a part of this ministry family. And so I know God has plans for you. I am praying right now uh, that God will begin to reveal his plan for you. I want you to be able to see it. I want you to accept it. And I want you to begin to walk in it by faith and just allow the plans of God to unfold, that they are manifested first spiritually, and then they will reveal themselves in the natural. God is a promise keeper. And he will never, ever, ever fall short on his promise. We just have to believe by faith that he is God. And that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And we are seeking his face. God, reveal your plan. Reveal your plan. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you and I magnify your name. Reveal your plan of how we're going to receive a breakthrough. That is God's knowledge. That is his wisdom. That is his counsel. Those are the spiritual things that we pray for. God's plan is revealed through his knowledge, through his counsel. And so if we would seek his counsel concerning whatever it is, whatever it is, if it's in our relationships, there's a plan. With our finances, there's a plan. In our health, there is a plan. In ministry, there is a plan. God always has a plan. And I can trust his plan. I'm not worried about the plans of God failing. I'm not worried about the plans of God falling short. I know that the plans of God are sure. I know that I can trust his plan. God has a great business plan. You know, uh, when you go to a dietitian, they write out a plan for you. When you go to a credit repair agency, what they do, they write out a plan for you. When you need to get on a budget, a plan is written. When you're getting ready to purchase a home, a plan is written. It is written. And certain things need to be done at a certain time. I want the plan of God. I can feel it. Listen, it's about to be released. The plan of God. I want you to receive your plans today. All you have to do is pray and ask. And believe in faith. When, you, when we go to God, we go in faith. Believing that whatsoever we ask. He said, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you can ask what you will, and it shall be done. If you abide, so we want to abide in him. Abide in the word. 
Let's look at that scripture. If you abide in me and my words abide in you. That's over in John 15 and 7. Let's take a look at that as we are joining together with you in prayer, believing God, doubting nothing. We're standing firm on the word of God. We are excited. We are truly convinced. John 15 and 7 says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye, he, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. So Lord God, we thank you that we are abiding in you. We accept your word by faith. We submit ourselves unto you, Father God, and we humble ourselves. We thank you for what you have thought toward us. We thank you for the plans that you have already prepared for us in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you on this thankful Thursday. To God be the glory. We thank God for this day. I pray that you will begin to receive the plans of God that he has for you. So keep your pens and paper ready. So that as the plans begin to come and they begin to unfold that you write them out and in all that getting get an understanding write out as much detail as it comes to you and i pray right now we bound the spirit of distractions that will come to distract you as the plans are coming and as the plans are being unfolded that nothing will distract you that you will begin to write them out as they are given unto you, led by the Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord God, for releasing the plans for your people, Lord God. The plans that you have for them. I thank you, Lord God, that you are releasing those plans in any way that you seem fit. If you do it through a dream, if you do it through a vision, if you send them a prophetic word. If you speak to them by the Holy Spirit, I thank you right now that they will begin to write down what they hear in the Spirit, what they see in the Spirit, as you are revealing the plans that you have for their lives, for their households, for the business, for the businesses, for the ministry. Oh God, I thank you. Oh God, plans to get out of situations that will be their deliverance plans to deliver them plans to set them free i thank you right now plans to get to the open door plans to walk through the open door plans to come into the inheritance oh god that you have for them in the mighty name of jesus Oh, Lord God, we thank you. We bless your holy, wonderful name. I thank you. We bind the spirit of distraction. We bind the spirit that will come to try to steal, oh God, those plans, oh God, from your memory bank. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, we thank you, oh God, and we just worship you. We say yes to your plans, Father God. We say yes to the plans that you have for our life and we'll be careful to give you all of the praise. We'll be careful to give you all of the glory due unto your name, Father God. We ask these things of the Father in Jesus' mighty, holy, and wonderful name. We thank God. I pray that there is something that we have shared with you today has been food unto your soul and a light unto your path. Look out for the plans of God. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming expeditiously. I know that the plans of God are coming for your life. And I pray that you move in obedience. Don't move away from the plans of God, but move with the plans of God. Oh, God, I thank you. We bless you. Have a blessed day, everyone, on purpose, because you absolutely are.